What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today was a pretty big day for Call of Duty. Not only did we get a brand new UI update, but there was also the Xbox Direct showcasing that ended up happening earlier today. If you missed out on that stream or just want more information and details on Black Ops 6, I did compile all the information that we know of and have so far into one video and I'll have that link down in the description. I ended up posting that a couple hours ago. Definitely check that out because Black Ops 6 might be that Call of Duty title that we've been waiting for. So if you want to see what all that hype is about, definitely check out that video. We ended up getting an update today that actually updated the ui made pre-orders now live and all that good stuff and that's what we're going to discuss and talk about there's also some free rewards that you can claim so if you find the video helpful or informative don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button before we get into it a quick word from our sponsor messymoddingstore.com it's a store that can get you the most exclusive operators help you complete your mastery camo challenges and much more and the reason why i promote them is they do everything 100 legit without using mods or unlock tools and not to mention they have some of the best reviews so check them out the link will be down in the description the very first thing was the new menu UI ended up getting an update. This was something that we predicted already. They actually did it the morning of the Xbox gameplay showcasing. And what that did is it brought Black Ops 6 and integrated it into the Call of Duty HQ app. Now, as of right now, that menu itself will basically only lead you into the pre-order page. If you head on over into the store, there's currently two different options that you have for pre-ordering. At least that was my case for PC. If you are on console, it's probably going to look a little bit different. But the first one is the standard edition which is $69.99 USD, brings in Black Ops 6, which is just a copy of that. You get early access to the campaign as well as the beta, and then you also end up getting the Frank Woods Operator Pack. If you end up getting the second option, which is actually $99.99 USD, that will be the brand new Vault Edition, and we've already talked about everything that will come along with that, but the first thing that you get is that brand new Operator Pack, which is called the Hunter or Be Hunted Pack, Brings in four different operator skins. There's also going to be a new Mastercraft collection, which brings in five different weapons. And as you can see here, they showcase what they look like. There's also going to be the Black Cell of this, which is going to include the Battle Pass for Season 1, the Black Cell version of that, 1100 COD points, as well as 20 tier skips. Then you also end up getting the Gobble Gum Pack, which apparently are going to have some pretty ultra rare Gobble Gums. And then all the pre-order benefits that you get, which is the Frank Woods Operator skin and early access to the open beta. Now, one thing that I do want to clarify is they did make a blog post covering and showcasing detailing pretty much everything that you need to know about the vault edition pre-ordering which version you should get what comes in with all that if you guys want me to make a separate video to cover all that answer all questions that you guys have in regards to pre-ordering comment down below your questions right now and let me know if you guys want to see that video i try to make it as helpful as possible so i know that way a lot of you guys are going to be spending a good amount of money on the 70 dollars so you want to make sure that you're getting everything correctly and you don't miss out on anything or accidentally do it wrong but Anyways, let's talk about some other things that we have. So not only did we get that UI update with the pre-ordering now available for you to do, but there's also a brand new Black Ops 6 event, and that has to do with the Frank Woods Operator Pack. Now, this event, it appears for everyone. As long as you go into the event tab, you will see it. Now, the bad news is just because you see it does not mean that you'll be able to participate in this event. This is going to be an exclusive event only for those who have pre-ordered the game. If you haven't pre-ordered the game, you're not going to be able to participate in it up until you do actually pre-order. Now, here's what it is. It's called the Black Ops 6 Woods Operator Pack Challenge. Pre-purchase Black Ops 6 and immediately unlock the Classic Woods Operator skin in MW3 and Warzone. Plus, get access to unlock the Zombie Woods and the Number Woods skin. And it says right there, the event ends in 137 days. That is a countdown until the actual release for Black Ops 6. So, you're only able to equip the skin and unlock it from now until the release and then after the release this event is no longer going to be available for you to do so the first step is after pre-purchasing it'll end up giving you that little notification saying complete classic wood skin is now unlocked you will now be able to gain xp and gain the other ones the second woods challenge is going to be the zombie woods and the challenge is earn a hundred thousand xp to unlock the zombie woods variant and this is a photo of what he will look like i'll also give a showcasing of what that operator skin looks like in game and then you also have the number woods which is earned 200 thousand xp and you will unlock the numbers woods now earlier this morning the challenge and the event was live but it wasn't tracking the xp properly it looked like they were waiting maybe until the xbox gameplay showcasing finished they ended up doing a playlist update and then actually made it go live and now it's properly tracking i went ahead jumped into a match just to test it out and as you can see from the status bar 
my XP has gone up a little bit. And then if you take a look at the track challenges, it says 16.2 thousand out of the 100K. And one thing that I wanna just let you guys know with the way it, that it works, it's not like the seasonal prestige camos where you need to first earn 100,000 XP. Once you end up completing that, you'll need to start on the obsidian one, which will usually start over and then make you gain the XP from scratch once again. And this time it's even more. In this case, the 100,000 will work its way towards the number woods one. So once you get the 100K and complete the zombie woods one, you'll only have 100,000 thousand xp left in order to get the last one which is the numbers woods now, other than this event that's currently going on there are other ways that you can get yourself free rewards and these are very limited so make sure you do these as quick as you can this event is going live right now on call of duty it's like a promotional thing they're doing on twitter they tweeted this saying thank you to everyone who tuned in for the black ops 6 direct reply below by tagging us including your activision id which includes your name as well as the numbers following that and hashtag black ops 6 before noon on 6 12 to claim a black ops 6 call calling card charm and emblem for launch so this is not going to be granted to you right away here in your call of duty account but it'll be given to you once black ops 6 launches in order for you to use it then and here's what it looks like here's the little artwork that they showcase for that the little clip but on top of this if you end up doing it correctly they will end up replying to you saying call of duty black ops 6 nice work you've unlocked the free emblem calling card and a gun charm and it'll have your name on the top right hand side so this is how you know that you have fully completed it and you are going to be able to get this reward when the game fully launches now remember because it's only here for a limited time the next couple of days you want to go ahead and do this as quick and as early as possible and it was going on to the final topic we have for this video after the direct showcasing call of duty ended up dropping multiple different blogs just covering different aspects of black ops 6 for example the vault edition how to pre-order the game the benefits and the things that you get from that they've also talked about the new features gave a little bit more of a deep dive in regards to the movement the new mechanics the operator skins coming in and all that and there's just going to be follow-up content that's going to be dropping in probably every couple weeks we're going to get something released because right now it's still in the early stages of june in the meantime they're probably going to be dropping little reveal trailers maybe even a multiplayer dedicated trailer zombies dedicated trailer warzone that's something else that's also on their list as well and they mentioned in that direct showcasing that the next big event that's going to happen will be the black ops call of duty next event that's not going to happen until the end of august that's going to be where they fully showcase gameplay streamers will be invited out to play and stream and showcase all that good stuff but even before then because august isn't for a couple of months you can expect that they're going to continuously drop even more blog posts if the alpha is going to end up happening that should happen before the release of august but so far they've been very quiet about that i haven't seen any official announcements from call of duty anything in regards to the alpha has been just solely based on leaks and insider information and even when it comes into like the pre-orders for the vault edition they talk about early access to the beta but nothing for the alpha just yet so if that is going to happen i could end up following the mw 2019 pattern where we received that on august and then around a month later we ended up getting the beta and then shortly after the game fully released so maybe during cod next That'll be the little alpha period where they're going to give us a little bit of quality gameplay. We'll get to try out the game, maybe a mode or two and a couple of the maps. But as of right now, what are your thoughts and opinion on everything that has gone on and so far we've seen? If there's any other particular video you guys want me to talk about, whether it's the carry forward, the multiplayer features, the operator skins, the roadmap, any of that type of content you want to see here on the page, comment it down below and I'll prioritize that first for you guys. But that's all that I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.